Hello again YouTube. In this short video I've got some sample photos from the Sony HSC DX30V. Now that particular camera has a pretty reasonable macro facility for close-up photos and that's what I'm showing you here. I should mention that these shots were just grab shots. They're taken in daylight in the garden at my in-laws and I didn't do any special preparation. I set the camera to full auto and then just took the photos. As you can see from these images, the first ones are of the butterfly. They're pretty detailed. And at the end, I will show you the 100% magnification shots uh, because that will show you just how good the detail is when you're zoomed in all the way. Now, I have cropped the images to fit the YouTube format, but you will be able to see the full image as a picture in picture when I show the full magnification samples. Other than the cropping, I have not processed the images, apart from just a couple of shots of the butterfly where I've boosted the colour saturation. For a small compact digital camera at a reasonable price, I would say this is pretty good output, and especially since it's on full automatic. Now, if you look at this close-up, you can see just how much detail has been captured. You can even see pieces of pollen on the butterfly's back and wings, and you can see the details of the wing formation quite clearly. It's almost like feathers, in fact. The hairs on the butterfly are particularly well-defined, too. Now, if I'd taken a little more time, maybe used the flash and perhaps a tripod, I think I would have got better quality images, I'm pretty sure of that, but these were just grab shots and I think they show what a useful carry around camera this is. As I was walking in for a Sunday meal I noticed the butterfly and the spider, took the camera out, switched it on, just took a second and got these shots. And now these shots of the spider are quite interesting because you can even see the hairs on its legs. Not a very nice sight in close up. There was a slight breeze that day, so the spider was moving back and forth with the movement of its web, but the Sony has still managed to keep the whole thing pretty sharp. I hope you find these samples useful examples of what the camera can do, and I will keep posting more examples of the capabilities of the camera in the future. So thanks for watching, and while you're here, why not subscribe? Bye now.